telling you, don't be smiling at me and then turn your eyes when I look at you. Don't smile at me and then turn your face when I look at you, man. Y'all soft, man. Hearts beating through your chest. Without the guns, y'all scared. Y'all watch me go down and don't say nothing. Y'all watch me go down and don't say nothing. 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 They're afraid of us. They're afraid of you. We're not afraid of you. Stop doing this to our people. Stop doing this to our people. My name is uh, Sergeant Shamar Thomas, also known as One Marine vs. 30 Cops. I'm out here in support of uh, the young man that was killed by the NYPD, Kamani Gray. Um, basically, you know, my thing is, you know, the police don't have procedure. They have, they have some procedural issues. I just don't understand why, you know, uh, you know, we got troops in Iraq where they got uh, Iraqis walking around with AK-47s and they're not getting shot. But the police, they see a 16-year-old and they feel in danger. That, that's something within themselves that, you know, they need to take care of and that, you know, we, we need to have better procedural issues. When, when the, the military, we have standards that we're being held to, but the police out here, because they have this blue wall, this blue shield that, you know, that they're putting up, they don't have, they don't have anybody, they're not accountable to anybody but themselves. And if we treated the police like how they treat us, they, they wouldn't like it and, and they'd be out here in the streets with us. Uh, my name is Jelani Mashariki. Uh, the reason why I'm here is because the police uh, have a target on young black and Latino youth and they do it without uh, following procedures and it's decimating to our population and it's unfair and it needs to stop. I'm totally and, and, I, and I'm totally against that and the police need to get get trained and a new procedure needs to be implemented when it comes to dealing with people especially here in our in the urban areas <laughs> Back 
to back. Back to back. You don't have to be part of this community to care. I, we are people that care and we're willing to go to the end of your earth to speak against injustice. That's, right. That's where we stand. This is a people movement for the people and by the people. Right? And that's where we stand. We have to understand that we are marching because police right? brutality has risen to a point where we cannot take it no more. No more! Yes. And we are tired of being silent. And we know that silence means, I mean silence is consent. And we no longer consent to the abuse and the tactics and policies that these police officers on every single day come out to these neighborhoods and implement on our youth. But we must keep on standing together. Another thing is, we're coming close to the precinct. Right. We need to make so much noise right. that the precinct can feel the vibration That's of right. the anger I, of people right. saying enough is enough. In 2012, people were saying two things. That's it. I'm going to say more than two things. I'm going to be real short. In 2012, 85% African American Latinos were pulled over and stopped and frisked by NYPD. Kamadi Gray was only 16 years old. Parents should not bury their children. Police brutality is not decreasing, it's increasing. So I need to hear your power is in your voice. We don't got to bash nobody's store or nothing like that. We more better than that. But your voice is your weapon. Kamani Gray doesn't have no voice no more. We have to be his voice.
That's exactly what they've been doing for years. 